So after Look What You Made Me Do, she was with Joel Alwyn. And um, I was like, dude, like you come up with that music video just to kick me in the freaking balls. And they're like, yeah, I got a boyfriend. And um, I didn't know. I, 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 it was weird. And so I was like, so there was, I, I, Valentine's Day was coming up and I was writing her notes all the time. Um, like writing her letters and trying to be romantic. And um, I sent her a present. I think I sent her a necklace at some point. Yeah, that was a great, great use of money. It was fine. All right, so um, I know I'm, I'm like kicking myself over spending a hundred and something dollars on Taylor Swift. <laughs> like, because I'm 150 bucks or 200 bucks is a lot for me. It is. So I mean, I cared, and that's the thing. I did care, um, but it was hard to care. Like, what? At first, I was like, I was bothered by the fact that she had she endorsed Coke, and Walmart. Like, she was like so corporate, and like. The, the corporate way, the way she was corporate bothered me, like, because I had had a boycott of Walmart for, like, years because I read in the, in the New York Times that they made it so that the door greeters couldn't sit down anymore and because they were encouraging them to retire and because um, there were all these old people that were doing door greeting. And I, I was like, well, screw Walmart. I'll never go to Walmart anymore. And then my uncle would drink, like, 20 Diet Cokes a day. Like, all this guy did was drink Diet Coke. But this guy was obese, and he had diabetes, and he had such bad health problems, probably connected to the guy, to the fact that he drank Diet Coke all day. And then Taylor endorses Diet Coke, and she's this skinny, freaking perfect girl, but I guarantee you, if she drinks Diet Coke, I drink one a day. I know, because I'll, I'll drink a Coke a day. I drank a Coke yesterday or the day before that, because I needed caffeine to go work out. And I know Coke isn't really a workout thing, but it's enough for me and um so i don't like but like it was the fact that like she's not just corporate it's not like you're corporate and you endorse some like clothing company it's that you're corporate and you endorse walmart and walmart's my enemy and then you're, you're corporate and you do, endorse coke I'm like my uncle died from diet cokes which he died from making bad decisions from drinking 50 of them but it's still it says diet and for stupid people, it's diet. And Taylor Swift uses Diet Coke. <sighs> so, yeah, I had a lot of trouble liking her at first. And, and and then the Blake Space music video came out, and I was Dracula in high school play once. And um, I wrote about it in my blog the day before the video came out. I was, in, I was in Nashville, and the music video came out, and I was like, I can't believe I just wrote about being Dracula in my blog yesterday. And um, and she was just making out with him the whole time, like in, in that music video. It didn't bother me at the time, but then she starts talking about him on Twitter, and I'm like, "Are you just trying to like, like rub it in?" And then I was like, "You're not my type, anyways. You have a skinny ass. I prefer girls with big asses, bigger asses." And I was actually talking about a CIA girl back then, uh, or someone whose dad was CIA, and um, and that's what I was talking about. <laughs> the whole time when I was when I was like dumping Taylor Swift on the internet and then um, we never got back together after that but like I decided to try to get back together with her and then that's when it was like well Calvin Harris is here and that's when the actual breakup happened until Reputation comes out um, where she's like yeah well the, the, the real problem was that you wanted me to be with Katy Perry and that's what it seemed like from Getaway Car and um yeah, I, I think the real problem was that um, that should happen with um, the Blank Space music video. That was like really the beginning of us like not working out because when you're dealing with a guy that doesn't know if he's crazy and he's having to like really put himself out there and embarrass the shit out of himself because it's hard to explain to Taylor Swift that the most important, most embarrassing person that a, a regular person can like is Taylor Swift. And I know there are Swifties or whatever, but, like, not a Swiftie. I'm a skater. Skaters aren't Swifties. I'm just saying, like, I'm, like, a like maybe, like, a Grateful Dead type person, which I'm not, which I like, great. I, I do like the Grateful Dead, but I'm definitely not a Swiftie. Like, I'm just saying, like, I'm, like, a Metallica type person, which I'm not. Like, I, I don't follow any bands like that. Like, I'm a Lana Del Rey person somehow. Like, but am I? <laughs> I don't know.
Like, I'm not anyone. Like, I mean, I, I always listen to her albums unless, like, she has, like, two or three in a row that don't have, like, a single song. But, um, yeah. So, 